Mr. Olomisa, thank you very much for your time. So an investigation was conducted by Senior Counsel uh, Jeff Badlender. Why are you not satisfied about the outcomes of that particular inquiry? That inquiry uh, by Badlander was doomed to fail because he has no powers to subpoena, for instance, the telephone or cell phones of the affected people. But I hope that the Judicial Commission of Inquiry, which has now been established, will go deeper into all these allegations and also the role of Mashobo, former minister, who has just uh, been uh, mentioned by, the, by this inquiry. One wonders why did the CEO of uh, PIC uh, kept this in secret, the role of Mashobo, and uh, not inf even informing the board. So, but uh, the Nene Commission, or the Nene's uh, 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 role, in this is clear that uh, it was designed to have a desired outcomes. But thanks God, the inquiry now is going to resume. Let the whole process be handled by the forthcoming inquiry. But uh, before I move on to, uh, I move on from the, what you are calling Nene inquiry, the very same inquiry that was run by Jeff Badlender, uh, talk to me about whether or not are you not worried that uh, you are casting aspersions on a professional who uh, would have done the best job he could to try and unearth what went on there? It, the truth of the matter is that uh, Bartlett, Bartlender didn't have powers, enough powers, and his terms of reference uh, captured by the PIC itself were, dis were, 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 were not brought enough. So this time around, there is no one who is casting aspersions on anybody. The truth of the matter is that uh, the senior counsel was not given enough time and, uh, and, and proper terms of reference. So it, that's why I call it a whitewash. But I'm happy that uh, at least Prof, uh, advocate Pat Lenda has also said, Mr. Machila, it was inappropriate for him to take instruction from a minister and not informing the board, but instead call one of the recipients of the PIC uh, funds to bail out Ms. Ms. Lowe. That is unacceptable in terms of the rules of the game. We are not going to accept that. All right, so the president, therefore, has since announced a judicial commission of inquiry that's going to be headed by a former judge. So, in your view, what are you hoping it will unearth, or what do you hope are some of the people that will be exposed for what has happened there? You will recall that uh, over the past two years, a lot has been reported in the media wherein they were pointing fingers to maladministration in that institution. The terms of reference uh, which have been published by the presidency are wide and broad enough to cover almost all those issues which were raised in the media. And I hope that uh, once and for all, the Judicial Commission of Inquiry, which will have subpoenaing powers, will get to the bottom of this mess and make sure that we clean PIC once and for all. A satisfactory outcome for the UDM, would it be to see the firing or resignation of uh, the currency of the PIC, Dan Majila? The UDM would like to see Dan Machila being suspended and also that the board should be disbanded and put an interim board. There is no way that uh, all these transactions which are questionable, you would uh, expect Dan Machila to occupy his office while there is an inquiry. 
Recently, we saw how the leader or the, the head of the SARS was put on suspensions, and many other directors general who have been found uh, wanting when it comes to running their institutions. When they are on the wrong, they are suspended. This is a normal standard, an international standard. Why would they want to keep uh, Mr. Machila, who has already uh, harassed the witnesses within PIC and also expelled some of the people under suspicious uh, conditions? So he has to be suspended. We are not saying he must, res he must be chased away. Suspend him. Let the inquiry do its work properly. General, thank you very much for your time. That's uh, Bantu Olomisa. He's the leader of uh, the United thank Democratic you. Movement.